believe too. I always believe, bro. I always believe for the underdog. They're both these plays are really good. Unless it's zero, then I don't want to believe. <laughs> zero at a at a what was it? Big house. Ante got six though. That's a dis that's disrespectful. <laughs> that's so disrespectful. He three won him in winners. I was like, not disrespectful. He's trying to win. I know, but anti. And then he pulled out Charizard. Game three. That's called like, giving up. It. It's called giving up. <laughs> that's what I was talking about earlier. Like it's like, oh my god, did you? I'm done. So um, I'm about to go home right now because <laughs> Kakajin did forward throw. Did he re did he be reversed his momentum with needles? Cancelled it into a back air <laughs> for the follow up. I'm like I I'm honestly done with Kakajin's punish game. It's so good. Like I don't think people understand how good. I think Kakajin's punish game is like as good as Mr. R Void's. Yeah, no, it, it, like it's damn good. all the top teams. Like his. His punish game is so stupid with two O's. <laughs> like, it is ridiculous. And he's and Kaga uh, experiencing something a little bit different than when he fights uh, uh, Shinko. But, you know, he's he's two grabs away. Oh, he's trying to get the pivot grab. He's trying to read hard. Oh, there this we might go. do there it. This might actually do it. Yeah. Oh. Max, <laughs> rage, max rage DK. Okay, Kaga, I see you. Okay, all right. <laughs> all that rage. Max rage. Kaga just throwing out some uh, riskier options like forward smash right there. Kind of just wants to clean up the stock, probably. Oh, that's it. Oh, uh, waits for the air dodge up there. Yep. Nice. Now, Kakajin looking very dominating at the beginning of this game for that. Kind of with the lead. Well, it, like, like I said, it, it, Sheik struggles with killing bad. Fair to back air. I don't think... Nah. It's just different. Well, it gets like a fatty... Her like, neutral is so oppressive that it's just like... I mean, you could just win neutral until 250% <laughs> and come with forward tilt, like honestly. But yeah. Uh, Kakajin doing Kakajin stuff. This matchup is rough for DK in neutral. Especially Kakajin. Uh, all he needs, all he needs is a ding-dong. Now he's ding -dong. two grabs away. Oh. Max Rage. That's all he needs. Oh. Yeah, Kakajin being very commanding right now. Ooh, reacts to the roll. Gets the grab. Back throws him off. Kaka, uh Nair, a pretty good job uh, at for landing off. She doesn't get punished too hard. I'm trying to grab him off the platform. I respect that. He's looking for that grab now. He needs it. Yeah, Kakajin doing a full hot fair there just to, you know, throw out an aggressive option and not get grabbed. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Konga kind of thinking that he's going to wait for the bouncy fish, but Kakajin goes, just goes straight for it. And um, honestly, that game, you know, that uh, ding dong, that max rage ding dong, like totally went in Konga's favor. And, you know, he, that's, those are the games you got to win. But I if think you're gonna that uh, Kakajin's going to be looking at that. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to continually get that. All right. Town and City for the counter pick. Uh, good counter pick for Kanga. Um, Ding Dog kills earlier, yeah. basically. Um, well, the ceiling on it's ridiculous. It's much shorter. In however, city. one thing I will say about this stage, it is the, uh, I believe it is the biggest stage that's not Duck Hunt. Um, Seriously? Or it might be the same. Like, this stage is really big, right? So Kakajin has a lot of room to retreat, and he also has a lot of room to, like, fair string across the stage. So this is not necessarily a bad uh, stage for Sheik, or for Kakajin, for that matter, because Kakajin is smart enough to utilize that for sure. Oh, God. <laughs> perfect pivot. Forward tilt to perfect pivot, up tilt, and then, <laughs> yes. he, and then he knows that it'll launch him out the the back way and then uh, combos the up tilt into a bouncing fish. Oh, this. man. Kakajin's pretty good. He's good at this game a little bit. The thing is, is like, yo, Kakajin doesn't even miss it, like, ever. <laughs> like, he's like, I don't make mistakes. Like, it's, it's just his punish game. Like, it's so good. All right, Kaga's like, "All right, I got that rage. You wanna like, you wanna like come down here and like get ding donged?" <laughs> he wants to. Kaga did a straight up platform camping, camping Kaga right now. Okay, Kaga's like, "Okay, enough. I'm gonna up air you." Except she is still in. Uh, Ooh yeah. She is still in ding dong percentage right now. I wanna yeah, say she has to get to like eighty. Okay, she's definitely in ding dong percentage now. Yeah. Oh, easy. But. Ooh, I wanna see Kaga like jump onto that platform when he's uh, invincible. So, like, I don't see good grenade usage ever, but Kako's just... Kako's grenade... Yeah. The thing is, is, like, the only people who use, like, good grenade usage is, like, top, top sheiks. Yeah. And that's what Kako is. Kako trying to get this grab. <laughs> yeah, um, Kako's just, like, not letting it happen, though. Kako finally getting on a platform to try to ding-dong. Kako is honestly just, like, played this matchup, like, super well as well. Yeah, he's just like, keeping him at bay. There's literally nothing Kako can. Kako's got to adapt here. Yeah, that's really There's what it comes Kaka down to right now. But I feel like you said the 
This is not easy for. Uh, d d it's oh. not. Wow. It's honestly just because Kakuj is playing. Kakuj is not only playing the DK matchup, but the Kaga matchup very well. He's reading the air Ooh. dodge every single yeah. time. Yeah. Covers the roll. Vanish doesn't get punished. That's yep, it. down tilt to up air. That will be a kill confirm. Yeah, this is looking. They, this is looking messy. Yeah. I believe he's got. He's got to reset the bracket though. It's just like, ugh. Uh. Yeah. Um, Kaga's base. Kaga has to win three in a row and then beat Kakajin in a set again. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. Kakajin is just. He's really good, and Kaga's got to be like. I don't think I've heard Kakajin talk. Um. Yeah. Uh, I say a lot of people are composed, but Kakajin is legitimately shy a lot of time. <laughs> um. We're gonna probably try to do interviews afterwards, and uh, Kakuja usually opts out. He's just very um, to himself. He comes, he comes out here because he loves Smash Bros. Yeah, yeah. And it's easy money. Easy, easy. money. Yo. Oh, that retreat to um, to just respect. Like, there's it's just like the little things a lot. Yeah. That I noticed about Kakuja that was just like so good. Like, when when Kaga chose the option, just in case he came down with something aggressive. Um, Kakuja backed off. Okay, here we go, Kong. And then he stayed backed off just to respect his ledge game, but still kept stage control. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Dig Dog will kill right now. Oh, my God. Look at these But uh, Kakuja is uh, not going to let this man land. Goes for the ledge trump there. That's risky against DK because it, if you don't ledge trump him, you give stage control immediately right back to him. And now we're going to see the platform camping because uh, Kakuja does not want to get grabbed by DK right now. And kanga has got to be thinking, like, do I go up there and pressure him and then put him out on a ding dong percentage? Oh, yeah, yeah. Finishing confirm. that combo with confirm. soft hit and air to bouncing fish. Beautiful stuff. Ooh, almost gets the pivot grab, but that doesn't not cover the entire platform. Ooh, wow. I'm not sure why that grab whiffed. Kakuja's spacing is just pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's, yeah, he's got pretty good spacing. Oh, there we go. That's it. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, Kanga even in and up. Gets I believe. the uh, pivot grab. I believe in miracles. Oh, yeah, we're seeing some combos. Ooh, Kanga spinning Kong out of there. Every time someone perfect pivots anything. Oh, spinning Kong's again. Let's go. I just get excited. He's like, that, he's like you got to be doing true combos against me, okay? Yes. None of the stylish perfect pivot stuff. <laughs> oh, Ooh, we're seeing set man. two bouncing fishes. Yeah, this is where Kakajin excels. you got to get back against this man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh, that put him in ding dong percentage. If Kanga came in with a dash grab, that would have been it. Come on, get it. You got this. You got this. All right, Kanga's gonna be looking for it. He, I think another reason he's jumping on the platform like that is just in case Kako does. He he could just catch the landing option with a grab. Kanga's like, you can't platform camp me if I get there first. This he's also Kako. looking for the giant punch right now. Yeah, that is true. Will that kill? Yeah, it, oh. on ledge, yes. So, so if if Kaga jumps up there, giant punches like I just like he just did, <laughs> then it would kill. But that's I mean, oh. Kako knew that too. All right, that's gonna be it. Three zero for Kako. Uh, good brackets of bruise, or not brackets of bruise. I usually commentate brackets. Of game works. Good game. Uh, uh, Orbitar, Orbitar, Orbitar. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this tournament that we're at. You want to do interview? Because I don't. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna be signing off. Peace. Peace. Layout here. You won't be able to hear me, so like take an ear off. Hi. All right. So we have Kakajin. That's not right. Ridiculous, man. Thanks. How old are you, bro? Twenty-one. All right. So. Orbitar 13, mm -hmm. complete dominated performance. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's to be expected. What do you think? Yeah, it's like a, a perfection uh, with no games dropped in yeah, the tournament. Yeah, you pulled a uh, zero at EVO 2015. Didn't drop a game, <laughs> took the tournament. Right. Um, so <coughs> you're generally known as the best player in the entire Pacific Northwest region. Um, 
after coming to this tournament today, what do you think about the strength of the region? Um, I think it's uh, steadily increasing. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, players are getting more and more hard to fight for me. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause you have, and I'm talking about just my state, not uh, oh yeah, like BC yeah. or Oregon. Yeah, because Conga, I mean. Conga's taken so many tournaments like Smash Clash and mm -hmm. Orbitar, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just came in here. And right. I've been out of the tournament scene for a bit lately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. You went to SmashCon, didn't you? Super SmashCon? Yeah. 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 And uh, you got the run back. You, you kind of got the run back on a DK today, at least. Yeah. Because you lost a DK bill. Lost a DK bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so we announced Don't Park in the Grass today. Will you be going? Hmm? Will you be going to Don't Park on the Grass? Uh, I don't think I will, but I'm not sure yet. All right. So I apologize for that. If you want, if you want to defend the region. Yeah, the I, I, def I definitely do. The opportunity. Don't, don't get me wrong. I definitely do. But. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, are you going to travel more? Because uh, I'm planning on going to uh, go to Genesis Four next there year. There you go. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, going to the next CEO in Evo. Mm -hmm. You were at Genesis 3, weren't you like 9th at Genesis 3? Uh, it was It was 17th in singles. Okay, so still a really good placing. Yeah, it's but pretty good. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can, our scene in general can get on that level too. Because if, <laughs> if we all, like, I feel like the scene, if we all made the effort to travel and go to places, we'd like show up in a lot more national placings. Yeah, not a lot of us travel, is that right? Yeah. Like I've seen uh, Lock and Lock go places, but that's about it. Yeah, I feel like, like if Conga traveled or Magister traveled, which Conga's traveled I, a little bit. Yeah, I, I've seen I've seen Conga travel. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I think he re recently went to that Arkansas tournament. He went to the Arkansas one, and then he went to Clutch City Clash. Okay. And he took a game off Ally. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you three owed him. So who knows what you do to Ally? <laughs> <laughs> but good stuff, dude. Yeah. Hope to see you here for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that is it for Orbitar 13. I am Gyromite. We will be back here in two weeks with triples for Orbitar 14. See you guys then. And...